So now in sticking with our mammoth uh, theme, we're going to a site of a mammoth kill. It's not really a site like the other ones, a site. I think it's just a, uh, like a plaque on the side of the road. Arizona's got a lot of those plaques on the side of the road where it commemorates things. A lot of history out here and the sites are mostly gone. You know, like the old forts and all that stuff, they're all gone. But uh, this is something that I saw and I'm like, wow, that'd be pretty cool to go check out. I think this may be it. Yep. Yeah, so here we go. So this is the site right here. Leonard Lay Laner Mammoth Kill Site has been designated a registered national historic uh, site. So Marie Springs. So here we are pulling into Murray Springs, a little uh, park over here, and we'll hike on in. National Historic Landmark. Uh, 2012, and then you know, I see people, typical respect for signs. So let's see what we got. So I think this is where, somewhere in the area where you tried to jump the water and fell in. I think that would be it. Horse Thief Wash, huh? That's probably because of Clanton's, right? Mm -hmm. Horse Thief? All right. Looks like there's a... So this is probably part of the archaeology out there, you see it? I do, I saw it back there too. Yeah, like, looks like uh, game tanks or whatever, but it's where they were probably digging stuff up. Ah, right here is a sign. Murray Springs Clovis Site and Interpretive Loop. So around here, right, mm -hmm. there are other spots where they've had mammoth bones and all of that yeah. and there's a spot out there towards Hereford where they have a spot where they found where they somebody killed a mammoth or whatever and yeah. so obviously there were a lot of mammoth running around here mammoths mammoth I don't know is it at one point Wow, this is the oldest one of the oldest archaeological sites um, excavated in the U.S. about thirteen thousand years ago, huh? One of several along the San Pedro River, huh? What's that? Here, quail. Yeah. yeah, so this must be all the, so these things that, now, if you didn't know there was Clovis sites here, what would you think that was? A digging site of some sort. M mining tailings or whatever, because everything else that went on around here are uh, overburdened. Yeah, this looks like, it just looks like a regular old river, Arroyo Gulch, through here. Very cool. Ooh. 
who discovered America? We don't know for sure, but it wasn't Columbus. The Ice Age called the, uh, what is it, Pleistocene Epoch began nearly 2 million years ago and ended about 12,000 years ago. During this time, there were repeated periods of glaciation with intervals of warmer weather in between. Hmm. Anyway, they built some nice steps out of uh, probably a dot. Uh, Over there. Well, let's go that way first. Yeah, this is probably all their diggings they sifted through and all that. Well, there might have been a fence or something here. What's that? Hey, so got to echo that warning. It, well, it's probably myrrh and then something. Uh, yeah, I wonder if... Uh, oh, it's uh, it says... Uh, it's a, So these are wells. It says well test on it. Oh, there's a couple of them. Yeah. So, they don't have it locked, but... Yeah, there's uh this one's not locked and it just says well test on it. So just leave it like you find it, I guess. And then look, you can see all the these are this is probably all the overburden down there to get to the uh oh, some wild squash growing over here. Well, those things stink. Yeah, so they have some type of wells or something. I wonder what they did. They might maybe drilled wells to uh, be able to use the water to help wash away. Yeah. You know, like uh, when you're sifting stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna put this on. So the squash smells? Yeah, they're not. They're not really squash. I don't know what they are. They're some kind of gourds. We hit them with the mowers, and they're oh. just really nasty. They they smell like. Well, they have a leader probably love it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, these look uh, like uh, guardrail posts. Steep steps. You're just like in a gulch. Wonder where they did all the digging if it was out of here. There's another pipe. Yeah, so I imagine this whole area, not just here, but like all the way up and wherever, gopher. Yeah. Uh, probably, probably you could find mammoth bones and whatever other stuff all over the place here. Yeah, I don't think that ends right here is the, the fence. So yeah, there's not much, well, there's other stuff. Look at that. Those are all like cutting edges and stuff from uh, like motor graders and see it? Mm -hmm. Using that to block people out. There's no, way there. no, we're not gonna go through there. There's nothing really there, but they're using those as dead men to keep the cows out or in. Well, we'll see. Well, let's go left. Is it telling you what type of plant that is? Yeah. It says medical tea for flu, nausea, and vomiting. Huh. Mm -hmm. Pretty neat. This stuff? Yeah. 
Interesting. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Take a picture of that. Take a picture of the plant too. What does it say it is? It's Atroplex Canescens four wing salt bush. Huh. No, that's fine. Okay. That's interesting. I've, and I've never real. I mean, I guess maybe I have. Pretty interesting. I wonder if it works. Yeah, I'm sure it does. What about the future? <coughs> the lessons of the past may be a warning. What happened to the Ice Age animals? Some survived, some didn't. Wow, stating the obvious. Well, you know, horses, I guess. Wolves. There's a bear right there. So, you know, you got a bear. Very interesting. Jack rabbits. Yeah, those miserable, nasty things. The guanas. Huh. Oh. See if we if we were thinking, we could have hiked this loop and then hiked back up. Oh yeah. But it's all right. 